Hello guys, welcome to Developine. I am Ahmad Tariq and in this tutorial, I will guide you how to install Flutter SDK on your Windows machine. We will also install the Flutter SDK in Android Studio and for that purpose we need to install Flutter and dot plugin inside Android Studio. Uh, first of all, you need PowerShell and Git for Flutter SDK. I have already Windows 8.1 and uh, PowerShell is installed. So I will just skip this step. Now the Flutter SDK download is in progress. And uh, as you can see that Windows PowerShell is installed on my machine. And Git is also installed, so I just have to extract. Uh, now the Flutter SDK has been downloaded. Now, as you can uh, read from here, also yes, this one. We will extract this uh, zip folder and uh, we just need to run flutter console.bat file. Okay, open the flutter folder and find this flutter underscore console and run as administrator. And this will install flutter. Now we have to run flutter doctor command. This will uh, tell us about any issues with the flutter. You know, Android SDK path is missing and all that. Okay, first of all, let's add environment variable, system environment variable. Go to bin folder, copy this path, and uh, go to edit the system environment variables. Okay, go to environment variables and click edit this path and uh, edit X. Now we have pasted the Flutter SDK path here. Now we need to open and write studio. Okay, if uh, we run Flutter Doctor. You can uh, see Flutter SDK is installed on Microsoft Windows. Now the Android setup step is left. I just opened Android Studio. And uh, now I will install Flutter and uh, dot plugin. So we can create new Flutter projects inside Android Studio. Uh, please note that you need Android Studio 3.0 or higher version. Similar to uh, native Android apps, you can use virtual device or real Android device for developing and testing and debugging Flutter apps in Android Studio. Okay, let's open Android Studio and uh, so we can install Flutter plugin. Okay, go to configure plugins and uh, search for Flutter. Search in repositories. Okay, install this plugin. Click on install. So this uh, plugin depends on Dart plugin. So click yes. It will also install Dart plugin for you. SDK which we installed on Windows uh, has built-in Dart support. So we don't need to do anything else. <laughs> Okay, after uh, both the plugins are installed, we will just uh, restart Android Studio. Then we will be able to create new Flutter apps using Android Studio.
see and the dark protein is already installed click ok and uh, then restart ok after restarting uh, you can see that we can create new we can create new flutter project in android studio <laughs> Okay, if you want to create a new app, and these are the steps. Start new, click Flutter application, and building for end users. These are the steps. Main uh, code uh, will be inside main dot dot file. This is the application which can be just develop. Okay. We need to give Flutter SDK path. We have already installed Flutter SDK. Just we need to give it a path. Go to Flutter. Okay, Flutter. Okay. Okay, click next. As you can uh, see, that we can also add support for Kotlin, uh, for Android code, and Swift support for iOS code. Okay, click finish. It will create a new template project for you. It will take some time uh, for the first time. Uh, okay, uh, this will, uh, template project will have a floating action button and a text widget. Uh, you may know that everything in Flutter is a widget. So this is the main dot uh, dot file, which is the starting point for any Flutter application. So we will learn more about this in our next video. Thank you for watching.